Hello and welcome to another Game Nexus Arcade video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this item here, which is the Namco System ES3X that runs Tekken 7 Faded Retribution. Before I get into this, I'm just going to take a quick look down here. You'll see, I don't know if the camera's focusing too well on that, but it says Namco, uh, Bandai Namco Games System ES3, and then it says SYS. ES3X assembly and it has some kind of number maybe that's like the item number or something and then down here is the Tekken 7 Faded Retribution security dongle which is more or less kind of like the um, Tekken Tag 2 Unlimited it's like a USB drive although I've had people ask me in the past if I'm able to like j just clone this and uh make as many copies as I want, but no, this is protected by uh, BitLocker security, so you can't just plug this into a computer, download its contents off, and make another one. It's actually locked, and if you plug this into a computer, uh, most versions of Windows will be like, um, unlock BitLocker security, and then you can access this flash drive. In other words, you can't do anything. That just goes in the top USB port here, and then there's the T-E-R, which I guess is for Tekken. Now, before we get further into this, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the ports here. Of course, here's your video card, which has takes up two slots. That's a DVI uh, port that uh, also has the little pin so you can put a DVI to VGA in it. Then, of course, there is an HDMI and a display port. Here's where your JVS I.O. board goes. You can pretty much use any JVS I.O. board. Uh, Namco has their own, but you, I use the uh, Sega JVS Tajama I.O. board, which um, works just fine. And this looks like it would be for a card reader, which I believe does need Namco's online services. Now this, I've seen people use this to power the I.O. board. Um, I don't know the pin out of that or have a uh, cable for it, so yeah, <laughs> no idea. And then there's two serial ports here, which I really don't know what they're for because I don't believe Tekken uses them. There's some extra USB ports. I know the second USB port, when you get the new kit for this, you put the dongle in one and then the uh, update dongle in the other and it'll update it to the new version, but you need the new a BitLocker encrypted dongle and an update dongle. I heard the update dongles can be cloned, but if you don't have the new dongle for the new version, you've just basically bricked your system because you can't play it without a BitLocker encrypted dongle. All the sound ports here, if you're using the VGA to DVI, you just use the green port. If you're using HDMI, it actually outputs audio through HDMI, which is really good. Uh, but that's all I'm going to blab on about. Of course, that's the power port. Plugs in with any normal PC power cord. Um, I don't rem Yeah, I, I did get a fairly long cord with this. It's not like um, Tekken Tag 2 where I got like a cord that was literally like three feet tall and... Uh, I mean, three feet long and, you know, unless it's like right next to your outlet, you really can't do much with it. Let's make sure I'm nice and close here and I am going to kind of get into the guts of this system. Now, not too long after I first got this system, I actually fully took it apart, cleaned everything, redid the thermal paste. So during this footage, I'm actually gonna uh, overlay a few of those pictures because, you know, I'm not gonna take the heat sink off if I had previously done that. Now, I believe we get the hard drive out first which is this little screw here. And you just kind of get it up here. And then it just comes out with one little, one little guy here. Not too bad, it's just a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. I hear these have a very high failure rate, so I hope I don't have that problem in the future, but I hear people are working on fixes with these so you don't have to actually go back to Namco if you're not an arcade operator and uh, you're not like officially licensed by them or whatnot so 
yeah, in the future there probably will be ways to run other games on this, multi-kits, you name it. But at the moment I hear nothing of that sort yet. But let me go ahead and take the top cover off because obviously it's a lot easier once you get the hard drive out because that's one less thing that's going to be caught when you... And this is one of those where the screws are uh, tight enough where I need a little bit of extra torque here. Actually, let me get a bigger screwdriver. This will be a little easier. I'll, I'll actually be right back and uh, we'll get this cover off. Okay, I actually got a different screwdriver here that makes taking these off a little bit easier. I don't know why it was kind of hard to take them off with my uh, my little socket set there, but eh, I don't know. Some screws are just weird that way. You just need like a longer, taller screwdriver to uh, properly take them out. And then the cover just comes off here. I believe, yeah, this one's the one that slides forward. And here is the guts of our Namco system ES3X. Let me just pop our camera off the tripod here again. We're gonna kind of get you a bird's eye view of this. But here is, here is the motherboard. Now under this heat sink is the i5-3550 processor. And if I'm in, since I'm not, as I said, I'm not taking that off, I'll flash an image of the naked processor from when I actually did take that off. And now these RAM sticks here, I believe were, I believe they were four gigs each. Let me just pull one of those out. Yep. Camera's gonna focus on that. This is four gigabytes of PC3 uh, 12800 RAM made by Smart Max Technologies. And that's two four gig sticks running in a dual channel configuration. So for all you enthusiasts out there, it's not like a lot of the silly computers that are in a single channel. Um, of course, the only SATA device is that hard drive, which is plugged in right here under the graphics card, which is actually a, I believe it's a NVIDIA reference card. I want to say it is a GTX 760. Um, I've been told by some people that's not the official card, but uh, I'm a little bit confused as to how that cannot be because the BitLocker encryption would be broken if you change the graphics card from what I understand. Mind you, I've only had this system maybe a little bit over a month, maybe two at this point. So it's not like I have tons of experience, but the only other real things of note here are if you look inside, you'll see our card reader. Card reader deal is over here. It kind of goes inside and just connects directly to the motherboard, like right there. But then they, we have a bunch of cables. They kind of just go all around. Cable maintenance is really nice here. Nothing too special in the motherboard. It's kind of just a i5 motherboard. Got some Namco stickers. I know in the um, Namco system ES1, it's actually a um, workstation board, which I wouldn't be surprised if this kind of was the same thing. But yeah, that's more or less the insides of a Namco system ES3. You'll see there's actually an extra PCI Express 16X uh, lane right there. So I don't know if maybe they had ambitions of like putting two graphics cards and running them in an SLI, but this only has a single one. But as I said, if I hadn't shown that earlier, I'll probably throw the images on right now of the card and any information I could pull online while I was editing this video, I'll kind of throw that in the, uh, throw that on the screen while I'm actually talking right now. But yeah, it's, uh, 
it's a fairly small computer and as you saw from my video I released quite a while ago it takes a good while to go from off to all the way into Tekken 7 so uh, the thing to remember is if you if you want to play this game um, turn it on get a drink get a snack come back 10 15 minutes later and then you might be able to play but the I've not never opened the power supply it looks like one of those like crazy like Mac G5 power supplies that are kind of like this this like rectangular prism that's like all all uh, how do I want to say it all um, encased in here because um, like for instance I have a power Mac G5 the as I call it the big metal monster and it's kind of got one of these like rectangular prison power supplies but I believe it's in the bottom of the computer but um, same kind of idea here but as you can see uh, processor fan plugs in there there's an extra fan here graphics card has a fan and that's really all it needs it's not crazy loud like the Lindbergh um, so it's yeah it's actually a pretty impressive system considering as I said it's an i5 uh, i5 3550 uh, GTX 760 and I will post the specs of the video RAM when I do find that online on the screen because what I'm going to do is when I'm editing this video I'll take the pictures I have and I'll check those chips because I know there was a couple of memory chips on the uh, board which I'm sure if I'm talking about this now I'm probably showing those pictures and pointing out the memory chips and then I'll say like if this is the 2 gig or the 4 gig edition of this card, I'm not sure. I couldn't see Namco using something crazy specced out because this game runs on Unreal uh, Unreal 4, so it doesn't need, like, um, crazy PC specs. But, yeah, that's basically the Namco System ES3 board. As I said, nothing crazy. There's six SATA slots down there, but it's only using the one for the hard drive. But yeah, that's basically the board that runs Tekken 7. If uh, your arcade runs any of the newer versions, like Round 2 or... I don't know if it's out yet, but Round 3 will eventually be another version of this game. As I said, all they do is they plug in the, the update dongle, they plug in the new security dongle, they turn it on, it updates itself, they turn it off, they leave just the security dongle in, and guess what, you got a new version of Tekken. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a way to update it over the network as well, which I believe there is, but you don't want to put your uh, board on the network if you don't have a Namco service, because I hear they could brick it on you, but yeah. That's the Namco System ES3. It's a very nice, like, small form factor computer as like a full-size uh, tower case would probably be like that much longer but uh yeah it's a nice little system it runs the game pretty well and uh it's a nice piece to have in my collection now if anybody has any more questions after watching this video about this board feel free to ask and i'll answer them in the uh, comments below but this has been another uh, game nexus like inside the uh the, the, the system type video, and uh, I shall see you later. Bye.